G'day you swashbuckling bucket of soggy sea dogs and welcome back to Payday 3. Now our criminal adventures today bring us to some rich cowboy's penthouse apartment where we have been sent to locate, decrypt and then steal his USB dingle dongle. While we're there, we'll also try to take advantage of the copious amounts of crack cocaine that is left lying about the place as well as the enormous bundles of money and the copious amounts of jewellery that he's stuffed in his well-packed back door. Naturally and as always, we'll be sneaking in like oily otters, getting the the job done and then sneaking back out and off into the sunset completely undetected like the true tactical testicles that we are. Then for this mission I'll be taking my car for my SB Model 11, my Marker Mumba MGL, a light ballistic lining vest, an armor bag, two throwing knives, two motion sensors and my skills are as follows. We have the basic infiltrator skill that gives us rush when we successfully pick a lock or kill an enemy with a throwing knife and the the ace infiltrator skill which gives us rush when a guard begins to detect us. We have quick fingers which as long as we have rush up allows us to successfully pick locks in one jiggle instead of three or four. Then we have bagger which as long as we have rush allows us to bag loot 50% faster. We have the basic escapers skill which gives us rush when we sprint for three seconds or more. And we have the swift skill which increases our base sprinting speed when masked by 10%. We have the basic grifter skill which when unmasked and within one meter of a civvy or an employee gets us rush and walk the walk that when we have rush and we are unmasked allows us to go past cameras without triggering them in private areas Then social engineering which allows employees to ignore us performing illegal actions as long as we're unmasked and have rush finally from the grifter skill tree we have slippery which allows us to set ourselves free if we get caught by a guard then from the hacker tree we have basic and aced which allows us to hack two cameras and gain a runtime for each one and then with secure loop we can use those two runtimes to basically disable any two cameras of our choosing. We also have Glitch Protocol, which allows us to distract a guard for a couple of seconds while he plays with his Dingle Dongle, and the basic and aced strategist skills that allow us to mark two additional targets for 40% longer. And as promised, we'll be doing this on Overkill Difficulty because I feel like ruining my day. And we'll also be doing it on Invite Only because one idiot in this game is already more than enough. And here we are, boyos, the penthouse of the building with the stuff. Somewhere in New York. And I have taken the elevator up like a normal person with three shifty dudes and uh, the security guard doesn't seem to think that anything's wrong, which is perfectly l legitimate because there is absolutely nothing sus about this picture whatsoever. Anyway, we're going to be going through this staircase and then letting ourselves up through the air vents. Now I will point out that this is not a, uh, what is it called? A no mask challenge because you need the bloody mask to do the stuff. So let's just slap it on right now and get ready to do business. So we're in the air vents now. I don't know what's going on in here, but we've got all sorts of stuff as though somebody were down here doing math or meth or doing math on meth. Now, I want to explain a couple of things. Firstly, I want to explain that I'm an idiot. So we got a guard there and we got a guard there. Ooh, oh, hello. And we've got a guard right here who seems to be encroaching on my personal space, but he does have a key card, so it makes everything okay. But all we're going to do for now is wait for him to make a move, plop down and then grab that key card. Beautiful. Now, an important thing to remember is that as we're playing this on overkill difficulty, there is a lead guard with a radio that never, ever stops radioing, even if we kill him. So I have an idea, and this is actually a very tricky idea that I didn't actually know you could do. Wow. Good job, mate. The motion sensors I'm carrying, I can actually chuck it on his butt and then it doesn't ever switch off. <laughs> so I have this guy's location forever. Anywho, let's hack this camera so we can go past it. See, that's where those hack skills and those run times come in handy. And let's do this one too, just for the hell of it. Now that they're not watching me, I'm going to slip through here like a tactical testicle and make my way into the bathroom and see if there's any poison in here. Is there any poison? Because we're going to need some poison. The only poison in here is the poison that I left in the bowl when I dropped my guts after Taco Bell for dinner last night. Anyway, let's head over here and activate this LCD screen and play this fantastic 
epic mini game that Payday 3 seems to force upon us repeatedly. Come on, come on, come on. First circle. This is a pain in the ass. I hate everything. Then let's hop over here and make our way to the next one. Oh, a bathroom. Great. We got any we got any poisson in here? I need some poisson. No, there is no poisson in here either. That's fine. Um, I'm going to do a poo. So apparently over in that question mark, I'm looking for the switch to the vault. I think it's upstairs in the bedroom. So now I got to go back upstairs again and get to the bedroom, which would be fine if there weren't a bazillion guards about the place, but it's okay. Everything's fine. I'm pretty tactical for a testicle. All right, coast clear that way. Coast clear that way. Let's make a move, boys. Okay, here we are. The bedroom. This is where the magic happens. You know what I'm saying? So we have a whole bunch of books and stuff. One of these books is going to open a secret door. Let's start with the most obvious. Okay, that wasn't it. Then let's try that one. Nope, that's not a secret button. How about this one over here? Nope. Well, that means it must be one of these ones. All right, one, two, three. Making a mess. None of those. All right. Well, let's start at the ends and we'll work our way into the middle. That's a surefire way to make as much a mess as possible. <laughs> we gotta be getting closer to that. All right, there it is. That's it. That was the secret switch, apparently. And that has opened a door right here. Look at this. Secret panel. Ooh, baby. Now, we know that it's a combination of these three buttons. We could brute force it, and I am quite the genius, so I could definitely probably not do that. But that would also make this video ridiculously short. So let's not do that. Let's go into the bathroom and see if we've got any poison in here. What do we got? We got med kit. That's not poison. Now, we need to find the filing room. So I assume that's downstairs. Is it? Hold on. Where's the filing room? I think it means just go downstairs, you know, and sneak your way to where you need to get to. That, that should probably do it. We got these cameras as well. I'd like to disable them, but I feel like maybe it would be better if we just get a loot bag and once again distract the guard with the loot bag. Now we got any poison in here? We got okay, there we go. Thank you very much. Exactly what I was looking for. My favorite drink. I like poison. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Get in my tummy. Oh, you know what? There's some civvies there. Getting into the, the filing cabinet room with them there is going to prove to be a little bit of a tactical testicle. Alright, let's see if we can make this work. Huh? Oh, there's a door there. No, no, there's a door there. Alright, hold on. Stealthily making our way downstairs again. Somehow not getting spotted by anybody on the way. Very, very tactically testicle, I'll tell you. So then, I think... All right, there's the security room. That's all good and well. I don't want to go in there yet. Let me just pop this door. Don't look, lady. Stop it, you psychopath. That... that is that a filing room? I mean, there's files in it. I don't know. Oh, bloody hell. All right, let's go. Let's just jump straight in here and see... If, what's this? What, what's this room? There's nothing in here. This was just a complete waste of time. Yeah, all right, cool. Just like my life. Oh, wait, hold on a second. I've been looking for the filing room. I think the filing room has been here all along. I think this is it. It's the room that you need the QR code to get into, which I've had for a very long time, but somehow completely forgot about it. All right, this this looks pretty filing room to me. Yeah, this would be it. All right, where's that red key card? Oh, there it is. Thank you. Thank you for wasting the past however long of my life. It's fine though. Everything's fine though. Everything's going really well. This is like the point in the video where everything just arbitrarily goes wrong. Maybe though, just maybe, today is going to be different. It's going to be the day that breaks the the sign. Whoa! All right, let's try this again. Over the little railing thing we go and straight into this room. All right. Any cameras in here? Nope. All right. Sweet. Wonderful. Great. So I have no idea about the dude that we're robbing, but I guess he's some kind of city development mogul kind of guy. A guy with a lot of money. A guy that would probably be hiding that money in a panic room. Hmm. Panic room. Is there a button? Jeez. Wow. Okay. That's not obvious. Oh, yeah. Didn't see that coming. All right. Great. So so now I have to get in here and I need to slap the guy's face onto this to open it. That'll be where the poison comes in handy. You know what I'm saying? A delivery guy just walked into the building with a bottle of really fancy whiskey. Oh. It must be meant for the penthouse. Yes. Yes, yes, very useful. All right, look, there's the delivery guy. Whoa, bloody hell, Gordon Ramsay. What the flip? As I was saying, there's the delivery guy delivering the stuff to the place. And here's me sneaking in like an absolute dumbass through the middle of a packed room, stuffing the whiskey with poison. And then I'll just ding the bell and I'll, oh, what the hell, mate? No, bad timing. All right, somehow, somehow I'm pulling it off. I'm pulling it off real good. I'm pulling it off like a professional puller offer. All right, there we go. Look, he's, he's smashing that champagne. He's like, yeah, this is good champagne, bro. Oh, I've got diarrhea. Oh, I'm gonna crap myself. Now, I don't exactly know what he's doing. It looks like me in the morning when I look in the mirror, probably the early stages of a midlife crisis kicking in, I'd say. All right, just you and me, big boy. Very strange for this bathroom not to have a mirror. That's all I'm saying. 
saying. So, uh, let's go. Oh, no. oh, yes. Now, I need to get this guy upstairs without getting spotted. Somehow I did it. I, <laughs> I don't know how. All right, mate, I need you to slap your face on this LCD panel. <laughs> and then once that's done, I'll just, you know, stuff you in your panic room. Seems like you're in a bit of a panic. So, this is what this guy's got in his panic room. I thought this was just a businessman. Turns out he's actually a YouTuber, a spec ops agent, and a massive crackhead. So, let's get the loose money first. Then, oh, hold on, we got these codes here. All right, I'll just take a picture of those with my phone so I can remember them easily. And I'll grab a bag of crack cocainus and I'll use this to disable the security guard guy. And then we'll be like, yo, bro. Crack cocaine as a bruz. He's like, all right, what? Oh, yeah, I thought I saw a bag of crack on the floor. Guess I'm tripping. And now I believe all of the cameras are... You got any cameras around here, bro? Yep, there we go. They're all disabled now. Look at that. They're all off because this guy be tripping on imaginary bags of crack cocaine. Then we'll open this door and we'll sneak back in. Oh, what the hell? Dude, that guy's living behind the bar now. What? Here I am looking at this <laughs> this funny cactus and I'm um, just, you know, wondering about all the life choices that I made that somehow got me to this precarious situation that I'm currently in. What the hell, bro? There are just so many guards in such a tight space <laughs> that this is... There's a lot of guard micromanagement going on. It's rather stressful. All right, here we go. Back in here to open the vault. Bag of crack cocainus in tow. Now. Enter the vault code. Yeah, all right, Diana. Shut up. All right, so we got a three, a five, a seven, and a zero. From memory, that would be zero, five, seven, three. Is that right? Yeah, nice work, mate. Now we're in, and this is where the magic really happens. Wow, look at all of this loot, mate. Whole bunch of ju jewelry store in here. Look at all of the genuine Bolex watches this guy's got. So let's grab all the little loose bits and pieces from here first. And then we have to transport the big bags to the other end of the place. Before we do that, though, let's pop this safe open and see what we've got inside. Oh, yes, the drive. I forgot about that. The USB dingle dongle. Now, excuse me while I decrypt the dingle dongle. And uh, we'll see if this nets us another bag. 3,000 years later. 95. 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. Decryption complete. Is this a bag? Let's see. All right, there's our 15 bags. We're golden, boys. Well, I mean, we're golden in so much as all the bags being collected. Now we just got to get them down there. That's easier said than done. Now, honestly, I don't want to have to cap anyone. I hoped that I could do this completely stealthily, but oh, wait, hold on. All right, so I can't close this door, apparently. that That's a bit weird. I Oh, I can. Oh, I'm just an idiot. All right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really dumb. Anyway, this is a drop-off point. Uh, I've got 15 bags. That's the USB dingle dongle. So technically, I could make an escape if I wanted to, but I'm a professional, so... Oh, no. Well, I ruined everything. Everything all right over there? No, everything's not all right. Everything's... Oh, bro, no. This is getting... No, stop. Okay, that, you know, that happens. That happens sometimes all the time, but it's still okay. Everything's fine. Yo, oh, everything's not fine. It, I mean, it's all right. No, no, it's not. Well, I can pick up this guy. I can't pick up that guy. He fell too far down the stairs. Bloody hell. All right, boys. Things got a little bit hairy, but, you know, um, it'll be fine. We'll get through this like we always do as a team. I literally just shit myself, but, you know. Oh, that's a bit sus. That guy, you, you're you in a pretty easy to spot location. We're going to have to relocate you over here. Oh, mate, this is not good. Let's try and stuff him. Oh, that's good. <laughs> That's real good. They say that even after 100 years of daily yoga, most people never, ever successfully manage to pull that one off. Oh, f Well, it's over now. F me. Actually, you know what? I was I was going to end the video and I'm just going to be like, it's over. It's over. But you know what? It's not over. It's not over till I say it's over. And it's, it's never over. So let me just call the bloody helicopter. Come on, Bile. Great name for a good person. Get down here with your helicopter and let's get out of here. I'm pretty sure this is the drop-off point though. So we'll just leave them all there in the drop-off point. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Bile. Bile for the win. Let's go, boys. We somehow managed to fluke that. That's just magic. That's magic. Let's go. See you later, dickheads. Look at that. Not even one level for that. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> but at least we got all the bags.